Our next speaker is Dr. Issa. He is a consultant in the Division of Hospital Internal Medicine at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. He leads the point of care ultrasonography program there and is an assistant professor of medicine at the Mayo Clinic College of Medicine and Science. He earned his master's of business administration degree with a focus in medical management at the University of Massachusetts. He currently serves as the president-elect of the Society of Hospital Medicine, Minnesota chapter. His clinical interests include medical education and promoting the use of bedside ultrasound. Please help me welcome Dr. Issa. Okay, welcome everyone. Thanks for being here and thanks for the course directors for another great conference here. They're doing a great job and I'm glad to be here this year as well. Okay, I have no disclosures. Sorry, I did not, I realize I'm not prepared for a Valentine Day talk. My red shirt is at home. I don't have hearts, you know, ties with the hearts on it. And so I said, can I argue for my objectives that there's no, nothing I can argue here, it's diarrhea, so I don't know how we can link that to, to Valentine, so I'm sorry. Uh, but we're gonna discuss a new updated guidelines on acute diarrhea, and then we're gonna talk about some tips when you're approaching metabolic acidosis. And then we'll talk about some side effects of certain medications with a new guideline to apply that. This is gonna be very interactive, so it'll be case-based, so get your clickers ready, and let's get going here. All right, our first case, we have a healthy 41-year-old man, admitted last night for a profuse diarrhea, watery diarrhea, and nausea for 14 hours. He has no fever or blood in the stool, no sick contacts or recent travel, no recent antibiotic exposure. His temperature is 36.9, heart rate 110, and the respiration is 18, blood pressure 100 over 65. On physical exam, he appears dehydrated, and abdominal exam is benign. Our first question, in addition to rehydration, which of the following is the appropriate medication to use? Loperamide, azithromycin, levofloxacin, a combination, or none of the above? None of the above, and or loperamide. Let me just go over the next one, and then I'll reveal the answers. Just the same case, except he was in Southeast Asia, so now he has the history of a recent travel. Same choices, if you would change your mind or no, and to what? Wow, okay, uh, interesting. Uh, there's no statistical term that describes this distribution, but let's see what we can learn here. So, so recently, the IDSA, Infectious Disease Society of America, updated their guidelines for acute infectious diarrhea. So this case is very, you know, you can apply some of the principles here, and let's see how they can help us answer this 